Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install React on Windows. All right, let's open Google Chrome and then go to React, hit enter, and then click on the link over here to redirect to reactjs.org and click on get started. Go to create a new React app. Create React app is here. This is how you install React. It's explained pretty clearly. You have to install Node.js on your computer. You go to Node.js, click on the link over here. Uh, click on download the long-term edition over here. So this is the long-term support, LTS. Click on it to download the files. Okay, after the download is done, go to the folder of the files. Uh, double click on the files to install Node.js on your computer. Click next, click accept the agreement, next, 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 install, and then click yes. Click finish. Okay, after the installation is done, we are going to check if the Node.js is installed in our computer completely. Okay, let's open CMD and then type node-v to check the version of Node.js on our computer. Here, this is the version that we installed on our computer, you see? The next step, for example, if I wanna create a project in a folder uh, on desktop, so I create a folder over here, React Projects. I'm going to create React app inside here. So I press Shift on keyboard and then click on open PowerShell window here. Okay, this is the current directory, which is this folder. Okay, let's go back to the website. So you have to type npx create react app and then the name of the application that you wanna create. Let's type npx create react app and name the application. So I'm going to name is sample react app you can name it whatever you want hit enter and then confirm it why and hit enter it's going to download react application and install on your computer your computer needs to connect to the internet so it can download react files from package management it's gonna take for a while you can type this command on cmd as well you don't have to use uh, PowerShell. So you can choose whatever terminal you like. You can use uh, Git Bash as well. Because this is the first installation, so it's gonna take for a while. So stay tuned. Alright, then if you go to uh, the projects folder, you will see a uh, sample React app folder has created over here. So this is your React app application files. Alright, next step, you need to CD into the React application cd uh, sample react app all right we get into the folder over here and next step you have to start react application npm start so right now your react app is running so you press uh, around access over here okay you will see the react application over here on web browser is view automatically open on port 3000 on localhost. You will see this is where application is running right now. Uh, let's take a look at the code over here. You can open this folder with Visual Studio Code. Press uh, Shift and right click and then open PowerShell window here and type code dot. So it will open the projects on Visual Studio Code. You have to make sure that you install Visual Studio Code on your computer. So this is the source code, you can check on it. This is public. And this is the app files that are running right now. Every time you close the projects, you need to run npm start, okay? Let me close this one. Let me close this one, close it, close this. For example, if I am in this folder, I'll right click, open with PowerShell, and then code dot. Then I can go to terminal and new terminal. Then you can type uh, npm start over here. 
okay it will run react app for you you can type a command over here directly see this is done okay if you want to edit the files you can remove this p tag let's see if the uh, p tag over here is changed you see the p tag is removed from the files you can uh, remove the link over here as well okay let's save you won't see a link on the web browser all right we have installed everything completely don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below thank you so much for watching